Hello guys, now in this video we want to see how we can input data into tables. So we can use the same technique of GUI, right click and then select the top 200 rows and then you can start to provide ID and name as we did in the previous videos. But there is another technique which is use a command lines and that even is easier because imagine with the command lines and later now once you have all the commands you don't need to build everything by using GUI. Just run the command lines and it will be even easier to delete the database multiple times and rerun the queries maybe you need to modify them from time to time to see what the difference all of that make it very easy compared to GUI so quickly now if I want now to feed information to Dante info and also to money info under the staff database the first thing I will need to use it is to use the database itself so that's why we are going to type use and the name of the database which is the staff and put semicolon if you don't want to put go and now we deploy only the first command as is and then I need just to copy and modify it with the values. So what do I try to do now? I'll try to insert. Insert what? Into. Okay. Into where? Into Dante. Dot. Now the only table which I have is of course info. And now I need to provide the fields or the attributes which I want to insert information to them. So the first attribute is ID and the second one is name. As we say, and the system used to help me to show me uh, what is a variable in there. And then I need now to provide the values according to the order. So for the first row, ID is number one, it is integer. And for the name, you can put any name. And of course, you can put the semicolon if you want by an end. Now, once I have the first column, I can simply now copy and paste it but I need to change the data. Here we configured ID as a key, so I cannot repeat the data on it. Need to be one, two, three. And for the names, the second name here, I will use Haro. And the third name, let us use Heller. I'm done with the Dante database. Now for money, we need to do the same. I'll just copy all the three lines, put them here. And now for money database or table, pick money three times. And again, we have one, two, three, and I will use the same name. Let's make no problem. The name you can repeat it, but you cannot make it null. If all is good, then I need now just to execute. Now it's showing you that we have three by three rows being affected and the command line successfully run. Let us check. Access to Dante first, right click, select the top 200 rows. And as you see, we have number one, number two, and number three. And for money, the same. Right click, select the top 200 rows. And again, I have one, two, three. What I will do now, I'll close these screens and now with the command I'll try to insert another rows but let us make it this time like 10, 11 and 12 and here also I'll try to provide 10, 11 and 12 run again another rows being added another three now if we check access to Dante edit here as you see I have the first three and the second three and the same with money right click three by three. So by this also now we have learned how to input data into our tables. So far now you have all the necessary or the basic skills to create again database, create schemas, create tables and schemas and insert data into these tables in addition to pick of course a primary key and pick not null value. That's all what we have in this video. Thanks for watching.